So today, we are going to do a Genshin Christmas wish list. It is officially December, meaning it is officially Christmas. So happy holidays. Even if you don't celebrate Christmas, happy Kwanzaa, happy Hanukkah, happy December, happy end of the year, happy holidays, happy get drunk off of cookies, whatever. Have a nice time. <laughs> Today we are going to do a Genshin wish list, basically talking about all the characters, weapons, constellations that I want to get in Genshin. Also, I am in costume. I can show you, give me a second. It's a cat onesie. It's very fluffy. I'm also, yes, I'm very hot, but the hood can go over my poof. Wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> See? Okay, I won't wear it though. <laughs> okay, let's get into the what I want. Starting off with my beautiful main, Shenha. She's a DPS. I've been working on her since when did I get you, Shenha? Since March 2023, so that's almost a year. No, wait, that is a year. That's a year. Oh my god. I just recently got her her final weapon. I've been through one, two, three weapons with her. One did cost me money. She's triple crown. She's been triple crowned. I need them constellations though. I've been saving up for C6 Shenha since last December. Don't look don't ask to look at my pools because it does not show <laughs> i've kind of accepted it i don't love spending money on this game but i do plan to whale for c6 shenha she's my main she makes me happy it's my goal to fully max her out she's a dps i want her to be the strongest that she can be so that's what i'm gonna do i know that spending money in this game is not great but my happiness is more important so if i want something i'm gonna make it happen she will be c6 one day okay okay next up is c1 Xian Yun. yesterday i was exploring in fontaine and i was thinking like i wonder if her e skill has that charge thing where you can do it twice in a row and i checked and it it does and i was like oh my god so yesterday i was like okay i will pull for her c1 whenever she goes back on banner all of the people that I need to be on banner have not been on banner in over a year. So who knows when that will be? <laughs> I also kind of want her weapon because it's funny and it's flat, but character and the signature weapon, I I, I just want it. I don't know. She's Shenha's mom. So, you know, she, she she's going to get treated well like Shenha does. So I want her weapon. Not that I need it though. Like I've got pretty good catalysts to put on her, but it's not what I need, it's about what I want. Next is Coconut. Whenever people ask me who I main, I always say Shenha and Kokomi, but recently I haven't really been paying much attention to Kokomi and I've been treating her like a regular. I used to be like, yeah, 100%, I'm gonna pull first Kokomi C6, but now I'm like, mm, for what though? I don't need it. But like, she's on my main team. I love her, I love her personality, I love her design. She's so cute, she's mermaid, she's pink, and purple give me a reason why i shouldn't c6 her can't hear you i so i also want her weapon i know that her weapon is useless and it's only good on her and also the alternatives are really really good alternatives like prototype amber and thrilling tales but i don't care it's so pretty i like the donut okay i like the donut and again character signature weapon this one is a need not a want nahida's weapon i kind of want um i don't have any good reason why i just feel like my build is not very good with nahida that that's basically i don't know like i don't is that a good enough elemental mastery also character signature weapon they go together i want to complete it she's an archon it's not like it would be a regret like she's really good she's one of the best characters in the game makes sense to me siang ling but I want her C6. I'm almost there though. So this one is like, and you can't spend money on this one. Like there's, there's nothing I can do to prepare for this one, but I need. She's on my main team. I use her all the time. She's still one of the strongest characters in the game after four years. Like that's crazy. I got R5 catch before C6. Oh, an R5 catch took me a long time. Oh my God, I'm not gonna get into it. C6 Xingqiu, this one is kind of pointless um, because I don't really use him anymore. I would only use him in the Abyss. I used him on my main team before I got Kokomi, but I got Kokomi on her last rerun and it's been over a year. So I haven't used him in like over a year, but he would help out in the Spiral Abyss. 
Aya's weapon, um, Miss Splitter Reforge, that would be nice because I could use it on a bunch of different people. Not that I really use many sword characters like at all. So actually that one might not be the smart, whatever. Although I did pay to get her a sword. I don't want to talk about it. I'm kind of embarrassed about this one. Deathmatch, I was fully like, yeah, I'm getting it for Shenha and what? She's my girl, she needs it. But I'm a little bit embarrassed about the deathmatch one. And this one was impulse. Before I got it, I was thinking about getting deathmatch for like weeks before I got it. With the black sword, I was like, mine as well. Like, oh, I'm embarrassed about this one. Um, her sword is purple also yes i kind of want a second staff of homa i said in my pulling for staff of homa video that like hu tao you're never gonna get your weapon you're never gonna have it that is shenha's weapon but i've been playing with this team for the past like day or two and i really like this team and i switched i put staff of homa, homa on hu tao just just for a quick little minute and i was like oh i like it like i like her play style more than i thought i would so i want a second staff of homa because i said i wanted a max staff of shenha but i don't know if that counts with the with refinements because i don't think i care about refinements i, I don't really care like it just helps this if i gained more basic attack and crit damage with refinements maybe i would get like r2 or 3 but they only help out with this not that these bonuses are bad but i don't care i just don't care so i think i would like to get a second one for hu tao yes moving on to characters that i don't have that i do want where's yellen she's a baddie next just kidding <laughs> i really like her burst it's like xing chos but it's better and i don't like bow characters because they're bow characters i don't i don't like it but she doesn't really use her bow at all in her skill or her burst her play style with being a bow character would work out for me i also could just use more hydro characters i really like hydro characters but the only hydro character i have that i can really like be confident and like use is coco and sometimes xing Cho. oh mona but mona's only a buffer Ritzley. Um, he's fine as I don't know what. And that's all I have to say. I mean, obviously he's cryo. I like cryo characters. Um, but let's just take a moment of silence to look at this man. It was his birthday a couple days ago. Happy birthday. I say I would get you cake, but you already got it. Sorry. <laughs> I like his outfit. I like the knee high boots. It's giving Ariana Grande blood eating. Raiden. Me and her have beef. I have beef with Raiden and Kazuha, which is weird because Raiden and Kazuha have beef together themselves. Raiden I've tried to pull for, I don't know, once or twice. I did a video pulling for her last year, didn't get her. It was on my birthday as well. I feel like I don't need to explain this one really. She's an Archon, she's really good. She's good for Bloom. I like Bloom, uh, she's pretty. I like Lore. I don't love Raiden's Lore, but she's loreful. She's cool. She's powerful. She's intimidating. That's all I gotta say. Really. She's an Archon. That would be cool. I only have one Archon. Lady Yai. I love Lady Yai. Yai Miko is one of my favorite characters. I feel like she's top five favorite characters of mine. She's just so pretty and so... I've talked about why I like Yai in a past video, but it was like nine months ago. She's so smart and girl bossy and very much i know what i want i know what's best y'all unimaginable intelligence and cunning she i said this in the video as well a lawyer could not win an argument with her she's very articulate and very much i got this idiot <laughs> i also really like her burst it's pretty it's fun it's cool i like it chiori i like chiori for the same reasons why i like yaimiko she's very confident she's very girl bossy i really liked her in the quest i not the quest it was an event for fontaine months ago i think it was like the musket one was it but anyway and she's got double swords that's so cool i was gonna pull for her on release but i don't i don't know what happened she she went on banner and i just decided not to i don't i don't know <laughs> i don't know if i would like build her i would just want her I, I feel that way about a lot of characters i would pull for them but i wouldn't build them like i would just have them like i would just pull them just to have them like with ito he's one of my favorite characters as well i don't know if i would build him but i would 
pull him just to have him because he's my favorite. Same with Zhang Li. Even though he's an Archon and he's a pretty good shielder, he's the best shielder in the game. So like, why would you pull for him and not build? Whatever. Ni Lu. Ni Lu is very much pretty princess and she's good for Bloom. Again, I like Hydro characters and I need more Hydro characters. She does cute dances. Oh my god, but this onesie is too small for me. I thought it fit me well. No, yeah, it is too small for me. It's small for me up here. <laughs> Sino. I really like Sino's playstyle. I hear a lot of people do not like Sino's playstyle, and he's like, oh, he's one of the bad characters. Like, you know how people talk about, like, oh, of course, some of the few dark skinned characters we have in the game are bad. Dea, Candace, Sino. I'm like, what do you mean, Sino? Sino's really good. Whenever he's a trial character in an event, I love playing him. I always choose him. I really like his burst. I. <laughs> I don't have any built electro characters. I don't play any electro characters. You think that's why? Well, other than Chlorin, but Chlorin's new and I haven't used her since I got her. I don't have any electro characters like built. So maybe that's why I like him because electro is new to me. New, it's different, whatever. I like Sino, just as for Sino. I think he's real good. I would definitely pull for him. He's very reliable, I think. And obviously he's good for Bloom. I like Bloom. I've said that a million times now. Chong Yoon. He's Shenha's nephew and he's Cryo. Obviously, I need you if you're somehow related to Shenha. Also, he's good for buffing Shenha. Again, I have a DPS Shenha. A lot of people, whenever I talk about my DPS or show how I use my DPS Shenha or whatever, people are like, oh my god, use her with Chong Yoon. I would use Chong Yoon if I had him. Please. Some people are like nice. Some people are nice about it, but some people are like, oh my God, he's Chang Yoon. Do you think I'm stupid? I do not have the boy. I do not have him. And I've pulled for him before as well. You cannot pull for four stars like that. <laughs> the four star decides if it wants to come to you. You can't decide if, if you want the four star to come. Next is Venti. Mm -mm. I used to not care about Venti because he was like, he is like one of the weakest Archons. But I recently have learned the importance of <laughs> of animo especially animo supports and uh crowd control and like i just need help in the spiral abyss a lot of these characters that i want is just to help me in the spiral abyss guess what i was doing the spiral abyss a couple like maybe like a week ago and i got to floor 12 and actually like played in floor, t floor 12. usually i just get to floor 11 3 and then i don't have enough stars to move on to floor 12 but i did this time I'm improving. So yeah, I just want him because he um, is animo. He does crowd controlling. And also because I really like the friendship that we have with Venti. He's got so much lore behind him, both stuff that we have learned about him in game and like stuff that we have like theorized about him. He's just really cool. Like, and, and funny, you know, he's known as the drunk bard. And like, and like Paimon will call him like, oh, you crazy drunk, lazy bard. And he like laughs along with it. If Paimon says something like that to Zhang Li or Raiden, they'd be like, <laughs> and that's the relationship that I like that we have with him. He's just very himself. He's so cute. Also, he doesn't have any talking idols. I was working on some stuff earlier and had the game open and I kept hearing wind and I was like, who is that? There's no talking going on. What? What? And I was like, oh my God, it's Venti. He doesn't talk. He doesn't have any talking idols. He's just sitting here playing the liar, flying up in the sky, minding his own business quietly. Love Venti, love him. Kazuha, boy, we have beef. Mm -hmm. I've tried to pull for Kazuha, I think twice, and he did not come both times. I lost to him, I lost Gene. How do I say that? I lost Gene to him, I lost him to Gene. I lost him to Gene, I think c1 um but anyway again i want him for crowd control and he's really good with dps shenha and dps shenha team is mona bennett and kazuha but i don't have kazuha so i use sucrose but he would be good next is emily i when i remember whenever like the leaks about her were getting leaked <laughs> 
people were hating on her like oh my god i hate her design and i don't love her design either and then she came out and people were like oh my god she's ugly and useless i've seen gameplay with her really good gameplay with her and obviously when she came out used the trial with her she's quite good i would call her a budget nahita but they're both five stars so that doesn't make sense i really like her play style her burst is very pretty her shoes are very pretty have you seen her weapon I was so confused when she was on banner because I was like, okay, that's that character. That's that weapon. That's Emily. Whose weapon is this? Because her weapon doesn't look anything like her at all, which I mean, not that it needs to, but it, 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 it does need to. Oh my God. My hat fell off. When did that happen? Were y'all going to tell me about that? It's Christmas. God. Anyway, um, she's a good dendro applier. I like Bloom. She's good. She's also a cutesy girl in heels and a dress. Love it. Lastly, Chaska. I don't care about Chaska's gameplay, to be honest. Like, she rides on a gun. It looks super silly. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't, I don't hate it. But, like, she rides on a giant gun. Which is cool. Like, baddie, period. But, like... <laughs> What are you like? I don't know. A lot of people have been hating on her and Auroran because of how pale white they are, which I agree they should not be this white because Natlin is based off of Latin and African countries and they are like blinding. God himself is coming down blinding white. But we're not going to get dark skin characters. We're just not. So I'm just going to put that behind me. My happiness is more important. I love Chaska's design. Her colors. I love it. I love the hat. I usually don't like hats on characters, but I feel like Hoyoverse have been getting better with putting hats on people like Clorinde. I really like Clorinde's hat. Chaska's hat is so pretty. I, a lot of people don't like the pants shorts thing. I love this. I love it. There's not a thing that I don't like about her outfit. Like, because somebody explained to me the ears because I'm not behind I'm behind in Archon Quest so is there like is there some sort of like story or reason she's got ears like that or is it just for funsies like does she just have ears like that I don't really care about the whole damage thing I have heard and seen that she does quite good damage I couldn't care less she's just pretty some honorable mentions I guess Hazo, I could always use more animal characters Ayato I could see myself pulling for him Never, never mind. Yoimiya, I love Yoimiya. I don't really care about her playstyle. I don't think I've seen enough of her playstyle though to know how I how I like it. I just really like her. She's super cute. She's super fun, and she's a good character as well. So it wouldn't be bad if I got her pulled for her. Jiao, I like Adepti. I like Liyue characters. He's very good. So again, wouldn't be bad if I got him. Also, Beto. I'm so mad that I don't have Beto yet. She's like one of my favorites i just love her personality how like chill she is but like she can get down to business when she needs to like oh haha -ha, let's laugh and joke around but do not ever disrespect me type i just love that she's just fun that's all i have to say okay i promise i'm gonna stop talking in a second last thing i have only been playing genshin for two years so like the four star skins that were given away for free i didn't even knew the game existed at the time i would like ningguang skin <sighs> I don't know if I would ever buy the four star skins because like skins are expensive. I remember Shenha, I bought Shenha skin for a video so you can go watch that if you care to watch me stress out about how much money I had to spend. It was like f f over $15, maybe $20 for a skin Ugh, obviously for shenha was worth it girl if the skin was 40 dollars, i would have bought it because it's shenha <laughs> i love ningguang she's one of my favorite characters but i don't even use ningguang because i hate her boss she's still at level 50 but this is so pretty if i had fischl i would want fischl skin but i don't have fischl i also want lisa skin i don't like i don't love her skin but it's cute and i like that lisa got a skin like give amber a skin next also i don't care for ganyu i don't have any intentions or plans to pull for ganyu but i would like her skin her skin is so pretty i hate to say it but i like her skin more than shenha's the garner the colors the gradient to black and blue the shoes the hair piece the back bow it's gorgeous i don't want ganyu but damn they did a good job on her skin 
Thank you so much for watching this video. Expect more Christmassy videos coming. Obviously, I play Genshin and Wuthering Wave, so there's not much Christmassy I can do. I'm slouching so you can see the hat. There we go. Now you can see the hat more. Obviously, there's not a whole lot of Christmas stuff I can do with Genshin and Wuthering Waves because I don't really celebrate Christmas like that, but we gon' we gonna try it. I like Christmas, we're gonna celebrate, we're gonna make things festive. I was thinking about doing a Sims 4 video because you can celebrate Christmas in the Sims, and I have a bunch of Sims packs, so I think I could figure something out with that. Let me know, give me some ideas, please, genuinely. Okay. Thank oh, it's inverted on the camera. Thank you so much for watching and God.